another Monday, another piece of cookery, and another first. This week, I'm actually going to do two recipes in one slot, because this time we found ourselves on the Channel Islands, in the Channel Islands, wherever you want to be. Now, the Channel Islands are actually far, far closer to France than they are to England, and you can read more about it on the uh, Channel Islands page in our English counties section. They're not a county, but we included them. There are about 20 islands, but only six of them are inhabited. And one of those six is, the last time I read something about it, only inhabited by three people. They're divided into two groups. There's a group known as the Ballywick of Guernsey. And again, if you read the website, you'll find out what a Ballywick is. And the other group is known as the Ballywick of Jersey. So I thought, let's take a recipe from Jersey. Let's take a recipe from the Guernsey Ballywick and give you two for one. That's what I thought. Then I realised the problems that I would have doing it. And then I thought, why shouldn't you enjoy that as well? So here we go. We're going to go with these two. The Ballywick of Guernsey comprises Guernsey, Herm, Alderney, Sark and Jethu, which is the one that only has three people living on it, while the Ballywick of Jersey is far more simple as it comprises the island of Jersey. So we're going to do it. I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to do the traditional sleeve rolling up. Other oh, arm this time. You have to watch all of these to know what's going on. <laughs> so, right. um, but I'm going to wash my hands. A few pictures of the Channel Islands. Then we'll be back. Usual ingredients first. I've split it between the two. Um, so let's go to Jersey first and do the Jersey cabbage loaf. No, no, the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf. You try saying that quickly. So the ingredients for that are 450 grams of plain flour, a seven gram sachet of dried yeast, 25 grams of butter, and some warm water, and a cabbage with some leaves on it. That's fairly simple. Let's now go and have a look at the Guernsey gosh, which isn't spelt gosh, but is pronounced gosh. <laughs> gosh, I hear you say. Uh, correct. Right, ingredients for the Guernsey gosh. 500 grams of strong bread flour, another sachet, seven gram sachet of dried yeast, 175 grams of butter, two grams of nutmeg, which is optional. If you don't want to add the nutmeg, don't. 50 grams of caster sugar, another amount of warm water, 350 grams of sultanas and 75 grams of mixed peel. Let us move to utensils. And th these are actually fairly simple to make, but you will need a bowl. I will need two bowls and you will see why a little bit later. You will need a fork. I will need two forks and you will see why a little bit later. Some string and a two pound loaf tin. So that's all the ingredients. We will start by doing the Jersey cabbage beef loaf. Right, I told you this was fairly simple. Basically, to make the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf, you just put all your ingredients into a bowl. The flour, the butter, 
and the dried yeast. And then you make that into a dough. As you know, I usually do it first by combining it with a little bit of water and use a fork. And then once it gets to a certain stage, I end up using my fingers. So I'll keep doing that and um, you can go and have a break if you like. I don't mind, I won't be upset. Not that much. Once you've done as much as you can in the bowl, then just take it out and knead it on a floured surface. And again, that will take five or ten minutes. So um, I'm going to keep going, but we'll come back when I have done it. Okay. When you've done as much kneading as you can, this is where bowl number two comes in for me, you bring in the second bowl and put your dough in there. And then you remember the one thing I forgot to tell you that you need, which is some cling film, because you cover that dough with cling film. And leave it, whoops. See, I told you I was good. Uh, that last one was, for those of you who've watched all of these, the last time I used cling film, I actually, it worked. This one is proving slightly reluctant to behave as cling film. But anyway, now it is all cling filmed, and that goes away to rise in a warm place. And now, we turn to our friend the Guernsey Gosh, and it's almost exactly the same. Just put all the ingredients in a bowl and knead them together. So in goes the flour, in goes the yeast, in goes the caster sugar. In goes the nutmeg and in goes the butter but because there's there's more butter this time then uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to mix it all together by hand because uh, you want to get the, the butter incorporated before you actually add the milk this time not water so I'll start doing that I might let you come back and see it when I add the milk okay We've incorporated the butter so that it looks like breadcrumbs and we've warmed the milk and using the other fork we begin to add the milk to the mixture. So probably to start off with add about half of it and then begin to mix it in. Now I have to say that on the recipe I found for this it said milk or hot water and I thought we've made three or four doughy things so far but we've never used milk now's the time to try who knows what's going to happen well not necessarily a rhetorical question because if all of you shouted out Richard doesn't have the faintest idea you wouldn't be far wrong right I'll keep mixing this uh, it's the same story as with the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf. When you've got it to a doughy mixture, um, once you've done a bit with the fork, you have to then go on with your hands. But once you've got it to a doughy mixture, put it out on the work surface, put some flour down and just knead it again for about five or ten minutes. Okay? But I'm going to let you miss that exciting part of this uh, recipe and you can come back when I have so done. That's a strange phrase. Anyway, see you then. When that is well kneaded, you put it back in the bowl, like so. It's 
sorry about the rather messy bowl. But I just couldn't get the staff to come and come and clean it. And then you add gradually the fruit and the peel. So just throw a bit in and mix it so that the fruit goes all in to the dough all over the place. So that it all gets in there somehow. Then add a bit of the mixed peel. So that's in as well. Eventually there should, there should be no more fruit to incorporate. It's all incorporated. And you then have your second battle with the cling film. And guess what? That goes off to rise in a warm place. Both of them should double in size. Welcome back in an hour or so. Right, after an hour has passed, or however long, and uh, your dough has doubled in size, it's much the same for both of the two things we're making. So there's our doubled in size cabbage leaf loaf. And we take it out of the bowl and just put in a little bit of flour and give it another another little bit of a knead nothing spectacular just a little bit knead it back again and once you've made it into a nice round shape you believe it or not Put it back in your bowl and this time cover it with a cloth, not your cling film, good news. So cover it with a cloth and put it back in its warm place. You then bring over your Guernsey gosh, which is also doubled in size. Do exactly the same thing with that. Take it out of the bowl. Give it a very light kneading, which is <laughs> all it needs. Oh dear. But instead of putting that into uh, the bowl again, you have then greased uh, your two pound loaf tin and you put the Guernsey gosh into into that and we cover that and off that goes also to rise even more right what i'm going to do now another hour has passed everything's doubled in size yet again i'm going to cook them both at the same time the guernsey gosh just goes straight in the oven so you'll see that going in but before we put the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf in, we have to do something. And what we have to do is, using a sharp knife, just cut the outer leaf, leaves, I think one will do, probably, I mean, I think two will do, off our cabbage, then, just grease the leaves, a little bit of butter, not much. Take your loaf from out of the bowl and then put it in one of the leaves and cover it with the other leaf. And then simply just, whoa, thank you. Tie the leaves, leaves, leaves around. No idea why. I don't know where the leaves are going to go, but just tie them. Oh, well done, fingers. You're 
almost behaving like normal. Right, that goes on a baking tray in the oven and the Guernsey gosh just goes in the oven in the loaf tin. You may watch. So first turn the oven on, obviously, it's a novel idea. Turn it on to about 180 and then place both loaves, or one isn't a loaf strictly, well it is really, into the oven. The Guernsey gosh needs about an hour. The Jersey cabbage leaf loaf, <laughs> I still haven't got that quite fluently. The Guernsey cabbage leaf loaf uh, requires about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's leave them both to do whatever they're going to do and come back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes have passed and it's time to take the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf out of the oven. Looks pretty heavy to me. And then put the Guernsey gosh back in for another 40 minutes with the cabbage leaf loaf we undo the string and take off cabbage leaf number one you can already see a bit of a pattern there and now turn it over taking the string out first please Richard thank you turn it over and remove the other leaf And you can see a most definite pattern on your loaf. And what is there left to do? But slice the loaf, butter it and eat it. Back to the oven, 40 minutes passed, out comes the Guernsey gosh, I think. Possibly. Soon. This cookery lark's not easy, you know. There we are. Oop, a few currants fell off. There it is. Nicely done. And same procedure as last time. Slice. Can you see? Had to move it there. Hold it. Right, butter and eat. Yep. Guernsey gosh. Like it. Good. Right, here's the recipes for you. There's the Jersey cabbage leaf loaf first. And now the Guernsey gosh. We've got one more Monday before we break up for Christmas. So if you'd like to join us next Monday, we'll be doing a Cornish pasty. And we've reached the westernmost tip of England. See you then.